and Sue. And we'll reset the clock. There it is. Okay, you guys ready to roll? All right. Joyce Sprouts. Joyce Sprouts. Good evening. May I ask how many parents do we have in the audience here? Can we raise your hands? Thank you. Tonight, we're going to show you how to do early education the right way. My name is Leo, and this is my partner, Suzanne. We're the co-founders of Joy Spout. Joy Spout is the iPad marketplace application designed specifically for the early education targeted children between two to six years old. The biggest problem in this space is the monetization problem. Interestingly, parents are willing to pay. However, they lack the incentive to do so. And we believe we hold the key to this holy solution. For the rest of the demonstration, we're going to split into two parts. Suzanne is going to go over our solutions from the, from the child's perspective. And I'm going to demo from the parent's perspective. So here goes Suzanne. Thank you, Nathaniel. OK. Let me show you the kids' mode. Basically, um, I want to bring up two points here. Point number one is that this is a very kids-friendly features. And number two is that we have got seamless tracking of a child progress. And basically, as a child opens up the app, this is the home page. And there's only two steps that the kids need to go through, scroll and then tap. I really like this drawing app, so I tap into this app. Then I see seven stories here. Um, this practice of four seems to be fun. Let me pick this. So as I play along this app, it seems to be a very simple drawing app, but there's a magical solution behind that. As I draw different pictures in this app, there's a behind the scene check-in. Every, every keystroke that I make, Every action I make there is checking behind, and this system will collect the data of the child and push to my parents. So after drawing the four pictures, this is not the end of the story. It became a little tale that with a message, pride has a fall. See the little bear that I drew? It became part of the story. Instantly, I become a little illustrator. And this type of data gets collected and pushed to the parents' mode. And Neil will show you how this data will get shown to the parents. Thank you, Sue. From the parents' point of view, the first thing that draw to my attention are the progress indicator. All this percentage and this big flower here. Not only this progress indicator tells me how far this content's been paid with by the kid, but also it serves as an indicator to the parents when is a good time to purchase the content for the, uh, for the child to grow. This is extremely important for the child as well as for the content providers. When I swap the button to go into the parental mode, there are two sections in the parental mode. One is the e-store, another is the profile. Let's go into the profile mode. In the profile section, it actually shows the result of the seamless tracking that was just demonstrated by Suzanne in this personalized holistic profile. Joy Spouse adopted the holistic development framework that was published by the United States government. It consists of 42 domain elements and grouped into five domain areas, physical, cognitive, language, social, and approaches. If the parents has time and interested, 
they can click into each of the sections and find out the detailed breakdown. This information is extremely important and useful for the parents, and from the parents' perspective, it's extremely difficult or impossible for them to acquire by asking the child. Now let's go back to the eStore. The eStore basically is a product catalog for all the contents available from Joyce Browse. I want to draw your attention to the right-hand side. This is the spider web. The spider web is the key of our solution, taking the before and after approach. Parent can actually quickly understand and look at it and say, hey, what this particular content can help my trial to develop in which area. This is the most efficient and the ultimate push for the parents to make a purchase decision. Once the parent decided and convinced to purchase the content, all they have to do is to click the free button or well, everything is purchased here. <laughs> Well, I don't have an, another content. So this is a free content for the parent to click. And then the, the content will stream and download right into the application without going back to the App Store. When the content is downloaded, it would be automatically show up in the trials mode next time when the trial opens up Joyce Bouts. As a result of that, Joyce Bouts is the key connecting the parents, the trial, as well as the content providers to provide a sustainable as well as an effective ecosystem for early education content. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Hands up for questions? Of course. Sorry, I cannot hear the question. It's okay, I've got a microphone. Uh, can you lock it between parental mode and child mode? Because I know my child, and it would be much like your demonstration there, everything would be bought by the time I got home after the first day. Right. He would Good. click parental mode and he'd buy everything. Right. Right now, um, we don't want to lock it, but uh, the, the, the child obviously can go to the parental mode, but when they wanted, if they really wanted to make a purchase, uh, you know, it still goes through the proper IAP process and will require a password. So the trials will not be able to make a purchase without the parent's password. And at the same time, we do want it to have, to have the ability for the trials to, to take a look at the, cat the product catalog so that they could uh, you know, make the recommendations to the parents as well. Any other questions? I have a question real quick. Are you working with any schools? Well, um, no, we're not working with any schools, but the schools came to us. Um, we do have contents that is actually uh, developed by the uh, principals of uh, chained um, P school and learning centers. So they, they actually uh, find our platform very interesting and then come to us to provide the contents. At the same time, we do work with um, content providers um, as well as uh, telco companies uh, as our distribution channels. Hi, he hello. Uh, do you have a time limit for using the application by kids? So I don't want my kid actually using iPad for like uh, hours. Well, well we, uh, this is one of the features that we would like to introduce, uh, the timer, basically. Um, the researcher has actually shown that the best time uh, windows for operating iPad for children between two to six years old is one hour. So this is uh, one of the directions that we're going to go into and provide more control for the parents. Who's making the evaluation of how much each app contributes to each of the uh, required skills? You, you had it very, uh, very highly quantitated in there, and I, I imagine that's because someone's made that evaluation. Good question. Uh, we do have a team of er um, early age educators with over 30 years of experience doing all the grading and the assessments. Besides just typing in? 
Yes, we take advantage of all the features of the mobile device, uh, camera, uh, gyroscopes, uh, GPS, to enable the rich experience for the parents and as well as the children uh, to get you know, multimedia gameplays. So iOS only? Right now it's iOS only. The reason is because, as we all know, the Android platform, the uh, ecosystem in terms of the payment is not really there. There's, for every $1 spent or $5 spent in the iOS system, there's only $1 spent in Android. So right now we're looking at the, um, the iPad platform for now. 15 more seconds. Anybody? Right now, as we all know, this is a two-sided platform. We are have, this is a, a, a beta product. Everyone can download it, but it's not really marketed yet. We have uh, organically over um, or close to 10,000 downloads. But we work with a lot of the multinational content providers, such as uh, BBC Videos, Oxford University Press, because of this uh, open beta. How much is the app? The, uh, the, the platform itself, Joyce Browse is free for download, and it comes with some free content. And the rest of the contents, the price of it is really uh, controlled by the content providers. We don't really dictate the price. We actually work with the content providers to make recommendations of how much they should charge. We're officially out of time. But Joyce Browse, everybody. Thank you. Good stuff for your, for your kids. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.